what's up guys it's toby here aka colo and welcome to a new video on the channel so today i'll be giving you guys quick tips on how to improve your defense and attack in fifa 23 so without wasting your time let's get into the video okay so i'll be starting off with defending and for every tip i give you i'll try and show you a clip from pro games to make you really understand what i'm saying the first tip is to learn and master right stick switching like if you want to take your game to the next level like you have to like you have to learn how to write six switch okay so i want you guys to watch this clip for an example so just so you know text is in the barcelona kit and his opponent in the yellow kit so when this guy gets the ball with his left back what he does is he uses the l1 pass so that makes him to go on a run so watch him is going on a run so what text does when he sees this is he, watch text is marking down the ball right he's with um his midfielder yeah too right? so he quickly switches to mbappe then oh that was fast sure okay so he's for he's he's controlling yaya toure now right so he switches from yaya toure to mbappe then from mbappe to van dyke his center back then switches to his other center back then switches to his right back just so he can mark the run because the run is dangerous so as he marks the run he sees that mbappe is not um he's not facing anywhere near this direction so he knows that mbappe is not going to give the pass so i want you guys to look at the other side I know you didn't notice his um this guy running but his opponent also sent this guy on a run so he can confuse text and text will not know who to mark so basically he's just going to pick one of the players that he sent on a run to give the pass to so what text does is he switches from um trent and then switches to his midfielder then to this guy here just so he can mark this run as well so all this is made possible by right stick switching so as he as text make um, covers the run he then sees that his opponent is not is not going to give the pass so he now switches back to his midfielder and then collects the ball so yeah so trust me you have to learn right stick switching like this will take your games to the next level so note it might take a really long time to learn but just like anything if you just stay constant and try to practice it anytime you get on the game it take you um lesser time to get and something that can help you again is to try and go on friendlies and maybe squad battles if you play ultimate team and just play against the computer maybe just like play like beginner or something and give the ball away on purpose and try to win it back using right stick switching okay so second tip is a bit of a ratty one and it's learning how to move your goalkeeper trust me if you learn how to do this properly it will help you in a lot and i mean a lot of situations okay so in this example i want you to look at his keeper couture because the movement was really slight so you need to really look at it boom Okay, so here's another example so i want you to watch his keeper here see boom he moves his keeper. let me play again so you see okay so watch move his keeper just a little so learning how to move your keeper properly will really help you a lot like really really help you a lot okay so the third tip i'm going to give you is do not press the ball i know it's a bit controversial but why i'm saying this is if you're still learning how to defend like you're having problems with your defend continuing a lot of goals like pressing your opponent is not really a smart choice to do because you don't know when to bring out players and you know when to press the ball aggressively so what i advise you to do is to start like like be when you're defending be be passive with your defense don't be aggressive like watch watch what your opponent is trying to do next and try to mark the passes so i'll show you an example with some clips okay so in this example i want you to watch texas opponent here how he's being passive when he's defending and not being too aggressive just after he loses the ball okay so he plays the pass loses the ball boom watch how he runs back with his player and boom being passive trying to cover the passes you see trying to cover the passes then text now sends ronaldinho on a run here so he now switches and covers the pass as well but he's unlucky to get the ball there so watch how he's still being passive trying to cover the passes but yeah still being passive so now i want you guys to watch when text opponent decides to be aggressive here boom you see when he gets the ball in the box there with um, i think that's yaya toure yes yeah, so yaya toure that is a very dangerous position to be in so when your opponent gets in a dangerous position that's your cue to be aggressive so just watch how he becomes aggressive here boom see he gets the ball so you need to know you need to you need to you need to know when your opponent is in a dangerous um, position and then try to be aggressive and make a, a good tackle on the ball okay so in this clip i want you to watch texas opponent here the person in the white kit again so see as soon as he loses the ball Watch how he tries to defend he tries to be passive right he's being passive being passive then boom as soon as he switches to have the villa to mark the ball 
see as he tries to be aggressive here see boom he tries to be aggressive but tech sees it and turns back so as he turns back see the space that he has left behind by being aggressive look look at this space here and yeah Toure is making a run there but Tex, I don't think Tex gave the pass. Tex didn't give the pass. So if Tex gave the pass, that would have posed a huge threat to this guy's defense. So just by being aggressive and bringing out players. So, so Tex turns back and continues with his build up. Doesn't give the pass. So he now, he now changes and still um, continues being passive. So he's being passive, being passive. I want you to see how Tex loses the ball here. Boom. So Tex makes a mistake. So there are three things that can happen when you defend passively like this. It's either one, you you be too passive and you give your opponent a chance to score or two you um, be passive the right way and pick the right type to intercept the ball and be aggressive to get the ball back that's the second thing that can happen then the third thing is by being passive the right way your opponent become your opponent becomes impatient and tries to like attack like rush the attack and loses the ball so try to put passive defending in your game and you improve massively the first attacking tip I'll give you is you don't have to use the actual button every single time you're attacking. Like the button you use to sprint, like you don't have to use it every time. Like it actually kills your attack and it makes it easier for your opponent to defend against you. So I'll show you some examples of pros like attacking, like you don't even use the sprint button. But obviously, like when you're maybe going on the wings or like when you need to use it, like to get away from your defender, obviously you can use it then. But like not in every situation. Okay, so watch this for an example. Watch how it takes. Um, build up as he gets the ball back. So notice he hasn't used the sprint button yet. Watch, he used it there, but just a little to get away from his player. Watch, he hasn't used it. Boom, he scores. See, he didn't use the sprint, but he used the sprint button just once and just to get away from his player there. Okay, so I'll show you another example. Okay, so here's another example. Watch how text builds up here. Watch. He hasn't run yet. Not once. Okay, then he loses the ball. Then I also want you to watch his opening the way he attacks. Okay, plays the dribble. ball. Uh, yes, this is the exact this is when you need to run. You see, like like in this instance, it's like when maybe you play a dribble or something. Like when you need to get away from a player, that's when you need to run. Okay, so second tip is you need to learn how to bring your shots. Like if you want to take your game to the highest level or just improve your game in general, like you need to learn it. Like will save you in so many games. Chances that you shouldn't be scoring. Like if you bring your shots, you score it easily. And I don't think I need to show you guys videos on that. Just because I believe you guys should know uh, what green shots are by now. And it's, it's easy to do, but like it might take you a long time to learn. Okay, so to do this, make sure you enable time finishing in your settings. And you can try to maybe practice again the computer and score back to your friendlies like this would really help you a lot okay so the third tip i would like to give you guys is learn how to send your players on the run like if you do this in the right way it can make you a lot of chances and you can also use it to and you can also okay so the third tip i would like to give you guys is learn how to send your players on a run like if you do this in the right way you can make a lot of chances and you can also use it to confuse your opponent as well Okay, so the third tip I would like to give you guys is learn how to send your defenders. Okay, so the third attacking tip I would like to give you guys is learn how to send your players on the run. Like if you do this in the right way, you can make yourself a lot of chances and you can also use it to confuse your opponent as well. So to do this, you have to face um, the player you want to send on the run. Like for example, um, this guy Alawira, if you're controlling him, you face the player you want to send on the run. So in this um, situation, he's facing Ginola. So when you're facing the player like this, you just hold L1, just press it. You don't need to hold it, just press L1 and the player will go on a run. So to reverse this, um, you need to hold R2. And if you so if you hold R2 while facing the player, it will call the, the, the player shot. So that's the opposite. Okay, so those are the three attacking and defending tips I would like to give you guys. If you enjoyed the video or learned anything new, make sure to leave a like and comment down below. And for now, peace.